All right, everyone, I will not let the RNG gods win this time, and that's why I absolutely love doing pulls on step-up banners, is because you know that you are guaranteed to get the unit at the 10th step, so super awesome, and I'll have to say as well, Netmarble does a very good job of really making it super tempting to do more pulls on the step-up than the 10 required to get the unit, and you can see by the loyalty rewards there at the very top that they have a 100 anvil reward at 140 points, so that's 14 multis, but then the thing is, once you end up getting to 14 multis, you're just one away from the, uh, the guarantee right here, guaranteed SSR, and then you have a one gem multi, just two more away from that. So it's like super, super tempting to do 17 pulls. Now, I'm not going to be crazy. I'm not going to do 17 pulls, right? Right? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing 17 pulls. That's that's the number we're going with here. Uh, that'll give us a guaranteed copy of Easton, as well as all the loyalty rewards, another guaranteed SSR, and then the uh, one gem multi once again. So, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. Three, two, one, go. Multi number one. Let's see if we can actually start off with something awesome here. Uh, because the theme among my pull videos is I generally start off pretty slow, but then it does speed up. So let's see if this changes. Doesn't look like it though. It looks like we're kind of sticking to the theme here. Yeah, yeah, nope. It ain't it ain't happening. It ain't happening here. Alright, number one is a bust. We got a one gem multi though, so this is the super value deal. I mean even just for the coins alone. Can we get something good? No eye flash. If I don't see the eye flash and I don't see the counter, I think I'm just going to skip. I think that's kind of where I'm drawing the line here or else I'll be here for a million years. Okay. I mean, either way, it was one gem, so can't can't really complain about the result. All right, what we got here? Eye flash? Nope. Twig? This is looking... Counter, no counter. All right, that's where we're drawing the line. And what do we get? We got a bunch of silver coins. All right, number four. So this is this is my theme here. I, I this is how it always seems to go for my pulls. Oh, it's bright out, but I'm not seeing anything here. Counter? No. Did I get tricked by the daylight there? Anything? Ouch, man. Four multis and nothing. Well, I'm guaranteed an SSR on this one, so... Actually, you know what? If I get Easton, can I just stop now? Is that... Is that a good idea? I actually haven't thought about that. I never really think about the, the possibility of getting the uh, original character before the 10th pull, because it, like, never happens. Okay, well, we know this one's gonna have an SSR, obviously. Let's... Let's see. Maybe we'll get a double. Just the yellow text, huh? Alright, what we got here? We got just the one. First one, though. Okay, what was I what was I thinking saying I might have gotten Easton on the first on the first SSR, man? This is why I don't this is why I don't plan that out, is because it just never happens. We'll just get Elaine instead, huh? Alright, alright. You got me. You got me, Netmarble. Number six. We've got a one gem multi coming up here as well. Nothing. We are we are getting the shaft here. We've only the only SSR I've gotten was from the step five. Maybe the discount will be lucky to me. Counter? Man, what is happening here? What is happening here? All right. So, I mean, I've gotten one SSR, but it was from the guarantee. Every other multi has not had an SSR. Here we go. I, I mean, eye flash doesn't mean anything yet. Let's see a counter or something. Eye flash means I'll, I'll go ahead and look out throughout the rest of the animation because it could definitely mean something. We got the uh, text here. No, just yellow. 
if I don't see an SSR, man. Oh, boy. It's a lot of yellows, though. Not even a fake out. Yikes. This is a shaft, man. Can, am I really going to go all the way to step 10 with just one SSR? This is a shaft here, man. I'm going to do a full rotation with only one SSR. I guess two technically because of Easton, but only the guarantee. No additional SSRs. This is it. This is my last chance here. Oh my goodness, what is happening? This is this is like Red Escanor levels of luck. I think Red Escanor, I went around this many multis was the without an SSR was like the worst, the worst stretch that I went. It might have even been a little bit a little bit more, but it was close. Yeah, I went okay, listen, I just went ten multis, and the only SSR I got was the guarantee. That's it. I didn't get any others. If it wasn't for the guarantee, I would have gotten zero SSRs. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, okay, I got, I got, I got to exit this screen here. We got to, we got to go for some extreme measures here. We got to reset the RNG. All right, let's reset the RNG here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go back here to my usual spot where I start recording my videos, and let's restart the. Uh, the tavern music too. Maybe that'll work. All right, it's like I'm recording a brand new video here, right? That's totally how it works. It's like I'm recording a brand new video. It's like I just reset the RNG. All right, here we go. We're starting off at number one here. We're going to number seven. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Is this gonna be number 11 without an SSR? Wow. Wow! 11 multis without an SSR, except for the guarantee. Are we going to 12? Is this actually 12? This is, this is the worst stretch of luck I've had. This includes Red Escanor. Is that really 12? That's 12! 12 multis without an SSR, except for the guarantees. That is definitely my worst stretch of RNG. I'm getting absolutely shafted to the extreme here. Thirteen? Oh my goodness, come on man, it's bright out. It's gotta be something here. Come on man, come on! can't believe this is happening okay all right well i see how i spot slater there so quickly that's what you know when your eye is just like super hawk senses just spotting out for an s i mean he kind of blends in there too that's the first ssr that i got out of all those multis that's absolute insanity right there it took 13 multis for me to get an ssr except for a guarantee wow Maybe I'm going to get, like, five in the next pull. It's not happening. Wow. This is a guarantee, so this one, this SSR doesn't even really count. Unless I get two. There we go. I mean, well, it's the, see, I've got too excited. It's the guarantee. I can't get too excited unless I see two of them. All right. Just yellow text. What we got? Just one? Fake out? First one? Really? I mean... I mean... Nope, just one. 
All right, two more, and I'm out of here. I, I've never been so happy to get out of a banner, man. I'm just, I am, this is not the one for me. This is not the one for me, guys. Man, if this wasn't a step up, I would be petrified in fear right now. And we got the one gem discount, and then I am done. This is it. This multi, this, uh, not multi, this summoning session, this banner, it was not for me. It's not even going to give me an SSR on the, oh yeah, it is. Of course, it's going to give me an SSR on the very last one to try to tempt me to keep summoning. No, Net Marble. No, it's not working. I'm not doing it. No, okay? I got... Two SSRs, except for the guarantees, in 17 multis. I'm not falling for the bait. I'm done. I said 17. I'm done. You can't do it to me like this. Even if it's a double, I'm still done. Even if it's Easton, I'm still done. Is it the last one? I think it is. Wow, these pulls, man. These pulls have not been for me. Maybe that means the next banner. The next banner could be Zeldris, could be Gloxinia. Maybe I'll have really good luck. I don't know. I still haven't really figured out 100% sure what I'm going to do. It really does depend on whether it's going to be Gloxinia or Zeldris. Gloxinia, I'm like 99% just not going to pull. With Zeldris, I'm kind of undecided because I know he gets added to the uh, to the banner. And it's really tough to do a ton of pulls knowing that Goddess Elizabeth is going to be coming up sometime in the future, the near future. Oh, nope, of course it's, uh, you know, it's Griamore. Just, you know, of course. Okay, Marble. well, I'm not falling for the bait. Griamore is definitely not going to tempt me to keep summoning. I said 17 was the number. That's what I did. That's, that's what I'm sticking to. And get me out of this banner. I am done. Get me out of here. Alrighty, folks. Uh, those were some pretty painful summons. But, I mean, I got Easton, so you know what? I'll take it. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did and you want more videos like this in the future, hopefully you don't with this kind of RNG. But if you want more summon videos in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to toss a quick like as well. We are at over 11,000 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for all the support, everyone. And more Grand Cross Global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now or in the suggested videos to your right or below. Over 150 guides, tutorials, summon videos, and other fun videos on the channel. So feel free to check them out. But if not, have a fantastic day, everyone. Take care. And this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.